If you've ever had your kids tugging at your sleeves every time you pass a dog in public, or ever wanted to motivate yourself and your family to get out on walks more readily, for the sake of your health and emotions, you've probably considered getting a family dog. And if you've thought about a family dog, I guarantee you've wondered, is the Labrador Retriever right for me? Now, I mean, of course you would. The Labrador is a living legend in the canine kingdom and has been the number one spot of most popular breeds on the planet for more than 30 years. It's with those first titillating wonderings that our story begins, because the path to getting the right dog is a bumpy and winding one, and not one best taken without careful thinking. So if you're sitting there with a longing feeling and an uncertain mind at the start of your journey, and you're wondering, is the athletic Labrador Retriever the breed to choose to have by your side for 10 to 15 years while you and your family navigate life, then you need to be asking the right questions. Do you have the right equipment for such an energetic dog? The right skill set and mindset to approach puppy parenting? Is the Labrador the right size and temperament for your home and lifestyle? Friendly enough with the kids, going to cope with the stream of visitors you have every week? This is a dog who is absolutely teeming with mouthy, grabby, bouncy enthusiasm, who grows very quickly and matures quite slowly. If you think about it honestly, right now where we begin, are you the sort of person who can ride to the challenge of owning and leading a veritable athlete of the canine world? These are the right questions to have. First though, let's just ask ourselves how this all started. Why are you leaning towards this breed? What makes the Labrador so enthralling? Everyone and their mum knows and loves a Labrador, and they're as much a part of our great country as strawberries and cream. So we all have our own experiences with them, first or second hand. Do you look into those warm, intelligent eyes as they cock their heads in an attempt to read you and think about the historical fisherman's friend who, you've heard, could swim in the near freezing temperatures of the Atlantic Ocean off Canada to retrieve fishing nets? Or of the astonishing nose that has been tasked with everything from diagnosing the causes of fire to detecting the earliest signs of cancer? Or the beautiful yellow lab who showed us all the meaning of unconditional love in Marley and Me? Perhaps you've heard that Labradors are amongst the top 10 most trainable breeds in the entire world and would love to see how much you could get your faithful friend to do for you. It does sound pretty good, doesn't it? And it's all true, as I know from experience with Uncle Sully here. But what about when you haven't done your homework or when you overestimate your ability to lead a dog with love as a first-time owner? If you don't get things right, you're looking at having a real nuisance on your hands instead of a faithful friend to the family. The Labrador Retriever developed from a long line of selectively bred working dogs, retrievers as the name suggests, who were designed to track with eyes and nose, run and swim for hours at a time, and to grab things in their mouths and carry them. So even though showing lines have softened some of these working edges, you're still looking at a dog who will hate being cooped up for the bulk of its life without brain work and exercise in abundance. With its love of running, swimming and retrieving baked deep into its DNA, our under-stimulated lab will be a thief and a destructive chewer, not to mention a bouncing hazard to strangers and its family. So with such hardwired instinctive drives and a surplus of energy in a compact but powerful frame, what on earth can you do to lead this workhorse in a life of delight? Well, that is the right question to ask. And quite obviously, I don't think that these considerations mean that most people are unsuited for ownerships and that the lab is destined for misery of small numbers. Of course not, not for a second. In fact, I'm going to come out and say it, the Labrador can be the ultimate family dog with the right kind of upbringing, an upbringing where the dog is socialized to all of the sounds, sights, smells, and surfaces in its world under its loving leader's steady guiding hand. An upbringing where this energetic, fluffy, battering ram of a puppy learns impeccable manners at every door, in waiting for every meal, and around every person, family or stranger, an upbringing where both brain and body are stimulated through intense exercise and the kind of obedience training that allows zero room for doubt or delay. That's where we're heading if we want to do right by our lab and have the dog of our dreams. But what does that look like? Well, because I love this breed with all my heart and because as a canine behaviorist specializing in behavior modification, I see every day how easily it can go wrong. 
Now I have created my Principles of the Perfect Puppy completely free course so that you can get it right first time and never have to come to someone like me. I've made it absolutely free of charge to help as many prospective owners as possible. So do make sure to check it out in the description after this video. Now, a happy lab who's been raised in the right environment and with the right guidance is a pleasure to live with and more than worth the efforts that you've taken to get here. He is a shadow following your loving leadership in all tasks and in all situations with serenity and a softly wagging tail. With all the retrieval games, exercise and training you're taking him through every day, he is fit and he is satisfied with his life, remaining calm but purposeful. He cuddles up to your children and your spouse every evening and rises early every morning with you to get out to work with whatever the day holds. He sits and waits for all his meals and at every threshold he approaches by your side, knowing that all good things in life come through your kindness. He works hard, he plays hard, he thinks hard, and he loves hard and because all of that he's gonna sleep hard because a tired dog is a happy dog and a tired lab is loving dedicated and peaceful and as a result a source of peace in the home that is infectious for you all now if that sounds like your happy ending then don't forget to check out that free course it's my principles of the perfect puppy course there'll be a link in the description box below because it is absolutely within your reach to have that as well if that's the kind of lab that you're looking for come along and i can't wait to see you there